Sickle cell disease, SCD, is a genetic blood disorder that causes red blood cells to become abnormally shaped, leading to serious health complications. SCD is inherited, meaning both parents must pass on the sickle cell gene. It causes hemoglobin S, which makes red blood cells sickle-shaped, leading to blockages in blood vessels, pain crises, and organ damage. The most severe form is HBSS, but other types exist, such as HBSC and HBS beta thalassemia. Symptoms include painful episodes or sickle cell crises caused by blood flow blockages, fatigue and anemia due to the short lifespan of sickled red blood cells, jaundice from the breakdown of these cells, frequent infections, especially in children due to spleen damage. Complications like stroke, acute chest syndrome, and organ damage are common, and patients are at risk for gallstones and a vascular necrosis. Sickle cell disease is diagnosed through hemoglobin electrophoresis to identify abnormal hemoglobin. CBC and reticulocyte counts to monitor anemia and cell production. Treatment includes pain management, often with opioids during crises hydroxyurea, which can reduce crises, blood transfusions, and in some cases, bone marrow transplants, the only potential cure. Nurses play a critical role by managing pain and hydration during crises, preventing infections with vaccinations and antibiotics, educating patients on managing triggers like dehydration and infections, offering psychosocial support as SCD can be emotionally challenging, with early intervention, preventive care, and effective treatment, individuals with sickle cell disease can live fulfilling lives. Nurses are key in improving outcomes by managing symptoms, educating patients, and offering support. Thanks for watching.